morning, everyone. We are very, very excited that you're here, whether you're in person, whether you're watching at home. Um, today's Pageant Sunday, as you probably can guess. And we're very thankful to all the families that have helped us. Um, you'll see some of the families, some of the kids in person. You'll see some of them on the video. And we're just very grateful. Um, I think a, a couple of kids got sick. Hi, Ella. I know she was sad not to be here today. But just the main thing is that the kids are telling the story of the very first Christmas. They're sharing the good news, and we're so thankful for that. Um, a couple of things in your bulletin. Today is the last day to order poinsettias, and they're going to be um, gracing the chancel starting next week. And you can, bless you, and you can have the flower in celebration of or in memorial of someone that you love, and we'll have that listed in the Christmas Eve services. Christmas Eve services are at 5 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock, 5 o'clock is the family um, friendly, and 8 o'clock is still family friendly, but it has more of the traditional, and it, has, um, it will have communion, and also both services will have candle lighting outside in the courtyard. And yes, there will be a Christmas morning service. It'll be at 9.30 regular time, so if you're able to join us, um, it'll be a shorter service, but it's going to be very meaningful. Um, Laura Boland will be doing the guest preaching. I'll be here with the kids' message, and whether you join us, I think Laura said we could even be in pajamas. Is that true, Dave? Okay, I'm going to put it on the record. You can come in your pajamas, okay? Just make sure that they're warm because we do have um, the air circulation happening here too. Uh, otherwise, in the bulletin, um, lit, which is happening this week, uh, the kids, the youth uh, Christmas party is going to be next Sunday on the 18th. And I also want to say adult education is still happening at 11 o'clock in room D. And it's also stewardship time, which means we're preparing the budget for next year. So please, when you can, get those um, pledges in. You can use the form that was mailed out. We have extras in the narthex. Or you can email Teresa um, Carlson directly, and it is confidential and secure. Um, and with that, Dean... I think we're ready to start preparing our hearts for worship and to listen to the good news that God has for every one of you today.
Good morning. My name's Nick Maxwell. I'm Sydney Maxwell. I'm Timmy Maxwell. <laughs> Paul Maxwell. <laughs> Nancy Maxwell. Uh, we get news every day on the radio, on the television, and even on the internet. Sometimes we are deeply saddened by what we hear and by what we see. We feel helpless and often alone. But today we open our hearts to good news, the kind of news that makes us want to shout and to sing in spite of all else. On the first Sunday of Advent, we lit a candle to show the great hope we have in Jesus. Uh, last week, we lit the second candle as a sign of our faith in God and his word. We have so much faith. <laughs> On this third Advent Sunday, we remember that Jesus' birth brings us the best news in all the world. We light the third candle in celebration of a baby's birth in a manger. Woohoo! We are joyful and we want to sing with the angels and worship with the wise men. Want to shout with the shepherds to and tell everyone what we've found. Jesus is born and he is such good news that we want to shout out loud and sing to the heavens. Listen to our joyful sounds. Let us pray. Lord, in the face of every darkness, let us remember that there is good news and great joy within our deepest pain. In that lowly manger lies our comforter and our salvation. Like the shepherds with their flocks, the wise men with their precious gifts, and the angels with their songs, let us bow down and worship the King. Amen. Gonna play on the piano. Well done, all of you guys. Great. Nice reading, especially the little, the little, the little one. Yes, we're here with uh, celebrating the good news of great joy. We have that joy. It's not fleeting like everyday happiness, but we have that assurance of eternal joy. So we're going to sing this together. I think, are the kids going to yeah. help? And Miss Nancy is going, are you going to um, Once you start be, that, be our cheerleader? Okay. Do you have Hansen? Do you have Hansen? I got Hansen. Okay, you got Hansen. You got Hansen. Alrighty. And uh, Steve, okay, Steve will play along with me from way over there. We need your help on this. And for everyone here, good news, great joy. Try it. Good news, great joy. We got it. All right. One, two, one.
This is the time that we do our passing the peace. And you've seen it all different ways. Handshake, hug, and high five. And near or far, we love to pass the peace of Christ here at JKPC. And when three wise guys found out that we were passing the peace today, they wanted a part of it. So is there anyone that's come from the furthest to come to this Christmas pageant today? The wise men. Oh my gosh. Let's arise if you can and pass the peace of Christ to one another. Do you want to sit back here or come sit in the front? Come sit in the front so you can see. You want to sit up there? All right. Have a seat. Hold on to your treasures. Okay. For the children's message, I would usually say calling all kids, but they're already here. So first of all, can we say a big thank you to the kids for being here? Woo! Take a bow. Take a bow. All right, and Ewan, I'd like to use this mic too to add, if that's okay, for the kids. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're talking about, I'm sure you know by now, the good news of Christmas. Well, yes, great joy, very good. I got you conditioned. That's good. Okay, so here's the question. I know there's good news happening every day. Every day, every time I've said the word good news, I hear it now in the news. I hear it in some of the scriptures. I hear someone saying it. Good news is around us. So who, for fun, wants to share any good news? It doesn't have to be about this Christmas pageant. Any good news that's happened. This is unrehearsed. Any good news that you want to share of something going on in your life or something at home, getting ready for Christmas about family? Yes, John. Um, so yesterday Hold up, for dinner, um, I had Wait, say it, say it louder. You had what? Um. Soup dumplings. Yes. Nice. Mr. Polson loves those dumplings. Awesome. Yes, he does. All right. Anyone else want to share anything that's happening? Paul. Want to stand up so they can see you? Our prize donkey there. Okay. Um, I cuddle with my dog. You have a dog? Yeah. A dog? Do you have a new doggy? What's the dog's name? Oh, what's the dog's name? Um. Tiny Peggy. Oh, that's Tiny Peggy. Now it all comes around. That's not Tiny Peggy. 
Not that tiny, big Peggy. Congratulations. Anyone else? I'm going to hold on to you. You'll be saying something in a second. Anybody else from the back row? There's got to be something else, some kind of good news. Not any good news? Well, then, you know what? We're going to have some good news. Is it? Where's Isabella? There you are. Will you say it a little louder? You slept with your kitty cat? Oh, I bet that was so cozy, huh? That is wonderful. Okay, so if you're not sure about what good news you have to share today, we're going to help you and remind you of the greatest news that's happened in the world. And in fact, Lily and Selena, will you come up and help us remind everyone? How long ago were people talking about good news? Who's going to speak first? Here, I'll help you hold it and hold it right to your mouth. Want to hold it or want me to hold it? And hold it up high. Yeah. Are you okay for the lines? Unless you want to share some good news too. Okay. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. To you, to you, to you, and to you. Did you did you know back in the old testament? The prophets shared the good news about Jesus. <gasps> awesome. Is it Lily's turn? John. In Isaiah, yes. In Isaiah 6, 9, it says, For to us a child is born, to, a, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. Okay. Why don't you go front? Yeah, go front. Hold on. Real loud, share that good news. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Thank you very much. So even back in the Old Testament, the prophets knew that Jesus was coming. And God wanted to have a special relationship with all of us by sending Jesus here on earth. And as they mentioned, it was Isaiah who said those wonderful words about how an amazing, wonderful counselor, mighty king, everlasting father, prince of peace would be here. So kids, will you help me sing that song? Let's do this. Do you want, let, uh, I'm going to make you move one more time. Let's all stand up. Let's come over here. Let's have the little ones in the front. So this is some of the good news that you can read in the Bible too. This is from the book of Isaiah. Come on over here. Always room for Mary. Okay. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, say hit it, you it. 
kids that are not here today have a special message for us all in the form of a video. So this will be about 19 minutes. It's worth every minute. So kids, you're welcome to sit in the front pews, or if you want to sit with your parents, then we'll have you come back on the uh, chancel afterwards, okay? So we're going to get ready for our video, so sit back and relax. Merry Christmas, JKPC. Today we are going to tell them um, say the good news is about Jesus. Bam. As a baby, just like you, Logan. Now all kids began with a mother. Jesus' mother was named Mary. Here is how Mary found out this amazing good news as it is told to us in the book of Luke. There once was a young lady named Mary who was gentle and humble. Mary was going to marry a man named Joseph. One morning in the city of Nazareth, Mary was going about her usual chores, when suddenly... His name was Gabriel! Angel of Light! Mary was frightened. <gasps> Angel Gabriel said, You don't need to be afraid. God is very happy with you. Angel had good news to share with Mary. News? What good news? Good news! I love good news! Yes, good news. So back to how it happened. Mary was just doing her chores. Chores? I'm done with my chores. It's time to practice. <laughs> an ordinary girl, but she was about to become extraordinary. She's perfect. Mary was gentle and Mary was humble, but she was also confused when the angel Gabriel told her that she was going to be a mother. Though she was engaged to Joseph, she was not married yet, but Mary was a follower of God and trusted God. So this good news from the angel brought peace and joy. Now let's talk about Joseph. We learned about Joseph in the book of Matthew. Joseph was going to be Mary's husband. He was a carpenter. A carpenter is someone who makes, who builds things from wood. Impressive. God sent the angel to visit Joseph. The angel spoke to Joseph in a dream while he was sleeping. The angels brought good news. Good news! I love good news! The angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The angel said that Mary was going to have a special baby, the savior of the world that God had promised to send. The angel told Joseph to give this baby a special name, Jesus! Joseph, you don't need to be afraid. Joseph, you just need to trust the Lord. Mary, don't you leave her, she's the one. Mary, he's gonna have a baby son. And you're gonna give him a name that's great. 
it'll be a name that they never forget A name that means that he will save his people from their sins Call him Jesus, J-E-S-U-S A name to treasure above the rest Jesus, J-E-S-U-S A baby boy who's gonna be the best took place to fulfill the good news that the Lord had told us through prophet Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah 7:14, it states, Emmanuel is being born. Emmanuel means God with us. Hello from Pacifica. Joseph was a follower of God. He was filled with peace and joy with his good news from the angel. So after he woke up from his dream, he did what the angel said to do. He went to see Mary with comfort and joy in his heart. Both Mary and Joseph were excited to be parents of God's Son. Before Mary's baby was ready to be born, all the people from the land needed to be counted for a census. Let's get counting. Selena, you count that half of the way, and I'll count this half. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty, five. Twenty-five people in the land. Everyone. Everyone had to return to the hometown that the family was originally from. Joseph's hometown was a far away town called Bethlehem. So off they went. Great joy to everyone and happy holidays. To you, to you, to you, to you, to you. And to all of you. Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem. It was very crowded with other people who had traveled back to their hometown. It was packed. Mary and Joseph had a hard time finding a place to stay. They knocked on many doors but had no luck. Finally, they found someone who said, I have no room in the inn, but you can stay in the stable. Knock, knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah, guy who has room for us to stay in this inn.
Joseph shared a room with the cows, donkeys, and sheep. Oh my! Moo! Ba! Hee haw! Ba! Moo! Ba! So the very night baby Jesus was born, Mary wrapped baby Jesus in cloth. She placed him in a manger since there was no bed. Mary and Joseph named the baby Jesus just like them. Angel told them to hooray! Jesus is born! <laughs> Everyone was so happy. Who's there? Isaiah. Isaiah who? Isaiah this once, Isaiah this twice. Jesus was born in a manger because there was no crib for a bed. <laughs> Most of the people in Bethlehem were asleep when baby Jesus was born, but there were some shepherds in the field looking after their sheep. All of a sudden, they looked up to the sky at a bright, glorious light, and standing in front of them was an angel of light. Angel said, don't be afraid, I bring you good news. Today in Bethlehem, God's son has been born. Go see him. He is sleeping in a manger, and his name is Jesus. And then the whole sky was filled with angels praising God. Then the angels sang, glory to God, peace on earth. Mm -hmm. The shepherds were so happy. They were the first to meet Jesus. How do you do? When the shepherd left the baby Jesus, they shared the good news with everyone they saw. Jesus is born. Praise God, Jesus is born. All were amazed by what the shepherds said to them. The shepherds helped others follow Jesus too. <laughs> And now it's time to learn about the wise men. You can read about them in the book of Matthew. There were three wise men. One, two, three. God placed a giant star in the sky to announce the good news of Jesus is being born. The clever wise men who saw that special story. There were three wise men. One, two, three. Three.
Upon the wise men packed up, packed up their camels. They brought with them gifts of frankincense and gold, and, and myrrh too. They knew it was time to follow that story. The story which led them to the baby king. It was a long journey for the wise men as they followed the bright star. went through Jerusalem and finally to Bethlehem where the star shines over a small house where Mary and Joseph now lived. The three wise men bowed down to baby Jesus, probably saying, not worthy, not worthy, and gave him their gifts of gold Myrrh and frankincense. No, not Frankenstein, frankincense. The three wise men then got back on their camels, like Alice here, and went down the path to share the good news with everyone. Possibly even seeing jingle bells. Who knows? We may not have gold, frankincense, or myrrh like the wise men, but we can still worship Jesus by giving him what is most important to us. Wait! Jesus, no, it's even simpler than that. We can give Jesus the gift of our love, and by giving our love to Jesus, we can receive great joy in our lives. This is our Christmas story filled with the good news of Jesus. Good news! I love good news! Angel Gabriel followed God. Mary and Joseph heard the good news they would, that they would be Jesus' parents. The shepherds heard the good news from the angels and were the first to meet Jesus. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And the wise men followed the bright star that shared the news of where to find Jesus. Good news! Great joy! Let us pray. May we be reminded of the good news and great joy of the Christmas story. May we all be filled with God's peace and glory. May we follow Jesus and spread his light throughout the year. Blessings to all for good health and good cheer. Amen. came with an instruction manual.
We're going to do shout with the shepherds and worship with the wise men, okay? So we're going to sing Hush, there's a baby. And we do me a favor. On the count of three, say, hit it, Ewan. One, two, three. Hit it, Ewan. Okay, today's scripture reading is from Luke 2, 8, 12. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, he is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. I think that's it. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, this is a real, real short two-minute mini message. This is kind of like the recap of everything. So I mentioned about, has anybody had any good news? Do you want, how about this? Isabella, want to scoot over a little bit here? And then you can scoot down Michael. And then if you want to sit down Marshall. Are you, are you cozy? Okay. Does anybody have any other good news since this pageant happened? Yes. We'll do two back over here. Um, my sister lost uh, a silver tooth. She lost a tooth? Ooh. A silver one. Oh, hopefully she'll get a little extra change for that one then, huh, from the tooth fairy. Oh, your tooth fairy. No, Papa. Papa. All right, pass over to Jada. Um, yesterday I went to San Francisco. Woo! 
Oh, that's, that's so magical there. And John, where's John? Oh, John, where's, John, come here, come here for a second. Come over here. What's missing on this arm? Not your sleeve. There's a sleeve here. But what's missing? They got the cast off? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Cast is off. Good job. All right. So when you have good news, who's the first person you want to tell? Your parents? Yeah? Your papa? God? That's a good one. Yes, Carolyn. When you put braces on, it doesn't hurt? It doesn't hurt too much. You're right. It's always good to sing when you're getting braces in, then you don't think about the braces getting in or hum in your mind. Okay, so who do you, um, call, who do you talk to when it's, uh, you have some good news? Family? Friends? Yeah? All right. So think about this. Think about the verse that Miss Sue Ann said. When Jesus was being born... The angels could have told anyone, anyone in the land. They could have told the scholars. They could have told the very smartest people in the world. They could have told the people that were the most religious. Who did they tell that Jesus was born? Who were the first to hear it? The shepherds. The shepherds. They were out in the middle of the night minding their sheep, watching over, protecting, kind of like the ordinary people, right? And that's who God told the angels to tell the first of the good news. And I love that because, Jerry, will you show the scripture once more time? One more time. Let's read it together. We're going to stop one place. Ready? But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for, what's the next word? Let's say it louder. All. Oh. Baby Jesus was born for everyone. Everyone of all ages, of all stages of life. And that's why I think they told the shepherds first. And the shepherds did a good job in going and seeing the baby and then sharing the news. Because good news is meant to be shared, right? It is. And that's what we're talking about, the good news. And you know, where can we learn about Jesus' life? And what books in the Bible? Anybody know for bonus points? Yes. Matthew? Any more? Where can, we learn, where can we learn when Jesus said things and actually when he lived? Hold on, Carolyn, listen to this. Yes? John? Two down, two to go? Anyone out here? You have to think about it. Mark and? There you go, Luke. Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John. And those books of the Bible are sometimes called the gospel. And the, oh gosh, here it goes. The gospel comes, I was telling Alice about this, comes from the Greek word, it has to do with euin. Euangelion? Okay, Pastor Randy, sorry, I'm messing up the pronunciation. I want to say euangelion. And that means, when you boil it down to gospel, euangelion, it means good news. So that's what we're celebrating today as we go through Advent, the good news. And it brings us such great joy. And if you have joy, you can dance. You can share with friends. You can sing. But you know what? Let's go back to the dancing. Is there, is there an Ella angel here that you can dance for us? All right. I, I was going to try to dance for you, but I said no. So we are very fortunate to have Ella. Will you come join us with a, with a dance? Okay, so she's going to do a Bring You Good News dance. Let's watch it, okay?
Thank you, Ella. Ben, come on up. I think that Ella personifies what we feel when we have joy in our heart. So if your heart's beating fast when you're joyful, think of Ella dancing. That was wonderful. Thank you, Ella. And this was a glorious day, and I want to thank the kids, thank the families, thank you kids out there for sharing the good news of Jesus. It was a glorious pageant. It was a glorious day this morning, and we're celebrating that glorious night. Right, Dean? Exactly. Awesome. Let's find out. Thank you. Let's give all these guys a hand. but I think you'll get the uh, you'll get the message and please try to sing along with us as well. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
and blessing to you all. Um, dear God, thank you, thank you for this day, for the kids to share the good news of your son um, being born for all of us, not just for one or two or three. It's for you and you and you and you and you. Right, Selena? We want to thank you, God, um, for giving us Jesus. Help us to have that joy, like Ella, dancing in our hearts. Help us to worship like the wise men, shout like the shepherds, and sing like the angels, and let us praise God forever. And everyone said a big amen. Woo!